as we said in the video of the amalgam restoration the ameloblasts or the cells that are responsible for the formation of enamel are like banana trees banana trees when they give birth to bananas and then when we harvest the bananas the banana trees will just die the exact thing happens for the ameloblasts the ameloblasts when they give birth to enamel they will then just die and that will lead us to one thing if a disease enamel is a present that means we have an irreversible disease and that will necessitate on us to replace the diseased part of the tooth with something called a restoration for example we have the composite restrations or the amalgam restrations that will do that work composite restrations are also called as composite fillings or simply dental composite now if we friend GV Black the father of operative dentistry with the Nobel Prize laureate in chemistry in the 50s of the last century Hermann Staudinger the father of the polymer chemistry the result would be this beauty the composite restoration because polymer chemistry is a sub discipline of chemistry that deals with polymers the word polymer came from the Greek polos or many and meros or part which collectively mean a multiple part structure like in the picture below this is a chain uh, of multiple parts or as we call it as a polymer the polymers are three types natural polymers synthetic polymers and natural polymers that can be uh, synthesized like the composite restrations the natural polymers are the so many biological molecules like the DNA which is a polynucleotide polymer or as uh, we can see it in the upper right picture that is the polynucleotide polymer or DNA or like the polysaccharide polymer like the carbs in the uh, lower right picture or simply like the polyamide polymer which is a polymer that is composed from multiple amides or as we call it as a protein the synthetic polymers like plastics uh, this is the most uh, famous synthetic polymer that we know uh, plastics came from the Greek plastikos which means capable of being reformed or deformed without permanently without being fractured and actually this is the origin of the word uh, gingivoplasty which means we can reform or deform the gingiva permanently without removing it or fracturing it it cannot be a fracture because it is a soft tissue but that is what I mean the third and last type of polymers that we are concerned with is the natural polymers that can be synthesized like resins uh, the resins are polymers that are natural and have so many shapes like for example the amber on the left picture which is a natural resin or a resin that can be synthesized like the composite restrations that we use in our field 
so that the composite fillings are synthetic resin polymers that are coupled with other three materials making up a material composed of multiple other subunits or simply a composite guys here I want you to know two different terms but they are similar to each other but they are completely different the first one is a polymer which means a large molecule composed of multiple repeated subunits and this is a microscopic description on the other hand we have a composite and when I say composite I don't mean the composite filling but I mean a term composite that is used in physics or chemistry which means a thing that is made up of multiple other things which is a microscopic description so that the uh, resin microscopic polymer is a part of the composite microscopic material after knowing what is the meaning of the resin and the composite I can now tell you that the four components of the composite resin or restoration that we use in dentistry uh, are four which are the resin matrix the inorganic filler a coupling agent and an initiator the resin matrix as we said before it is a polymer okay but any polymer initially is a monomer or oligomer like the bisgma udma or pex that is in the presence of light or a chemical reaction will be activated and a polymerization uh, polymerization reaction will happen leading to the connection or changing of that one mer or few mers into a polymers or many mers okay the second uh, part of the composite restoration which is the inorganic filler the most common types of inorganic fillers are silica lithium aluminum silicate barium citrontium and quartz guys actually the quartz is a face or a son of silica because silica has another name which is uh, silicon dioxide and when you google the silicon dioxide you see that the most common picture of the silicon dioxide is the quartz so that quartz is a face of silica according to the size of the fuller particles composites will be classified into the following macro midi mini micro nano and hybrid full composites uh, and there are 10 micrometer in their size 1 0 0.1 0 0.01 and 0 0.001 micrometer which is a nanometer full composites and of course a hybrid composite which is the best type of the composites that we have 